and Pokemon Trainer and Chrome. Pity has actually been on a tear recently. He's gotten uh, he's gotten a handful of PR wins over the past month. So he's definitely like our in in South Carolina. Our PR is pretty competitive from ten upward. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's pretty uh, it's pretty fluid. When you start getting into nine plus, you start getting into names that you know start performing top twenty five percent in most like majors. But uh, we're pretty competitive uh, with our uh, mid rank players in the state. Oh, I hear you. Well, I mean, it's important to take to you know take notice of right. Like give people the the credit they deserve when they're coming through right. and consistently beating people right, like an objectively based. Uh, this thing. Well, no, it's a, like a panel of judges, right? If I remember right. Yes. For the for the PR stuff. Our, yeah, our yeah. PR is pretty serious, like most regions are. Good, good. Um, well, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's a uh, good to have that form of competition, right? People, people keeping track. Do me a favor here. So, uh, payday is Mr. Game and Watchman. Yes. Gotcha. Tyson gotcha. on Pokemon Trainer. Gotcha. Pepper on Prom and Mage on Falco. Yep. No, gotcha. Just making show, making show. So, yeah, Sergeant Pepper and Prom taking a little bit of damage early. Again, got the uh, maybe the heavy hitter with the Chrome Sword and the Falco Super Super Fast. Ooh, Mr. Game Watch, that was seen there. Yeah, pays off with the kill there. Hmm? Trying to save. Uh, wow, okay, so Kaishin's not able to get back on stage. I think he focused a little bit too much on uh, backing off from the edge there. Yeah, uh, try not to take the damage, like give it up necessarily, and then yeah, just, wait, wait just for space his himself to come out back. a little bit too far out. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, Spacing's important. He closed out the stock ASAP, though, and they're having trouble. Kaishin probably needs to. Figure out if he wants to switch back to Ivy Sword. Hey, Dave does his job, however. Getting stuck on uh, Pepper. Mm. So yeah, that's still five. Yeah, five to four. So yeah, Chrome losing one. Falcon a little bit of damage on. So I mean, this this could go either way very quickly, right? Actually, needs to slow down a little bit. He is. Yeah, they're definitely doing this on purpose, right? Oh, Mr. Game on Watch with nice uh, up air. Right. Yep. Yep. Up smash. Nice well, done. I'm, I'm still learning some of the terms here, some of the terms. Commentary stuff is, you know, what I'm super, super interested in. But, uh, you know, just like any game, right, there's a lot of meta terms. <laughs> I thought that was a little bit BM there for a second by Mr. Gaming Watch. Uh, yeah, like, like a little uh, pause for himself. Ooh. That's Kishin. Okay, going to be able to get on the stage, but they're just trying to lock the final stock on uh, Kaishin. Yeah. Kaishin so just needs to play a lot more patient at the moment and yep. either run away or just get out of these one-on-one -on -one situations, especially against Mage. Yeah, I mean, that Falco, man, that Falco. It really is going to get it done. That's another one down here payday, against Payday. One -on -one yeah, exactly. So Pepper. You, you were saying that there's a different Pokemon you should probably be playing right now? Or Venusaur is it? Yeah, so the general, the, the general logic, general theory is that Squirtle racks up the damage and Ivy Sword locks the kill. Yep. Like right there. Yep. Um, up air being a fantastic kill move. That is going to be Kaishin's final stock. Does take Pepper's second stock, but you know, probably not quite enough to help Payday here. Yeah, no damage on Krom. Yeah, he, he's letting him one on one, right? He's, uh, yeah, you know. Give, give him the gentleman their space. Yeah, <laughs> also, you don't want it accidentally. You, you don't want to throw away the game you've won with friendly fire and such. Yeah, okay. It doesn't matter. Uh, Payday can't really recover the stock. And it's yeah. going to be a quick game one for Pepper and Mage. Yeah, tall order, three, uh, three of a nut up here. So that's, uh, yep. Nope, sorry. Pe Sergeant Pepper, Mage going up 1 0 in this best of three. Okay, where are they going next? Any ideas? They, they obviously lose their picks, right? Uh, winner bans and loser picks from the remaining. That's Looks like they're going to go from the Stadium, too. Get a little bit more space. I think Kaishin absolutely needs to. Put himself in. <laughs> I don't know if it, oh, let's hear it. Let's I don't hear know it. if it's much as like camping and running away, but he needs to play a bit more of a patient game. Yeah, uh, you mentioned a, a difference in spacing a little while ago, uh, trying to stay off the side so we didn't get some big smash against him while his partner was coming back. Uh, did not get that space and lost his stock really early. Um, yeah, you see it. They're getting smashed all the way off. You know, you, I think anybody can deal with that, but uh, but you know, just just a slight light miscalculation. And again, here, lots of damage stacking up here against uh, against Blue. That's Payday and Kishin. Or Kai Kaishin? Yeah, if you're, it's Kaishin. Kaishin. If you're, God, yeah, Kaishin. so if you're Blue team right now, if you're Payday and Kaishin, I think the biggest factor is if Kaishin will pop off this set, if he'll play uh, not necessarily smarter, but mm -hmm. maybe a bit more of a team player. Hmm. 
that said, uh, Payday is having a hard time getting back on the stage. Yeah. Fashion getting uh, double teamed very, very fast. Yeah, the attempted edge guard there did get a little smash against Pepper, but now he's joining the teammate. Big smash there against. Uh, I was going to rewrite this. H locks down the stock on Payday. Is that going to be the first one so far? Yeah, so last one we saw a couple different stocks going within like the first minute or so. Quick now there's the second one. Off okay. Yeah, first yeah. Stock. Minute and 10 in. That, that's, uh, that's pretty far in there. Um, playing a little far, uh, yeah, a little closer together now is Kishin and uh, Kaishin and Payday. Trying to get something set up. They came back into the same situation they were in last stock. You know, they're, yeah. they're in a position where they can even it out and then they just spend too much time just racking damage on the stock. Payday manages to down air, but doesn't actually lock the kill down. And That's Falco going to be able to get back. Yeah. Yep, yep. There you go. And Payday on the uh, you know, on the Mr. Gaming Watch tried to get it going there on the edge, but like we were saying, partners there. That's the name of the game. This is doubles. I think Payday at the end of the day needs to create better situations for Kaishin to lock the kills. Okay. Be sore. And uh, is it a matter of like? You know, communicating, coordinating there, like, you know, trying to get, like, oh, hey, we're going right edge right now. This is where it's going. I mean, it's always, coming in. <laughs> it's always better it's to go in to with a plan rather yeah. than not, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, very, very, uh, very good point. I think you have to, like, actually. <laughs> Big statements, Gavin. To, it's better to, to have a plan. <laughs> yeah, yeah having a plan is better. No, than I, not. I hear you. I hear you. But, but no, really. Um, if, if Payday can't lock down kills very easily with Game Watch, which is a thing, especially in doubles, mm -hmm. um, then that burden goes to Kaishin on Ivysaur. And they're spending most of the game, you know, not really comboing each other, getting forced into one-on-one -on -one situations right there again. Yep. So Kaishin off stage. Yep. That and was a great job by Pepper, realizing yeah, yeah. That he didn't need to charge in there, right? Come back and wait for it to come over the top, get a big up air, and now we're looking at one sock apiece for Kaishin and Payday. They're still in a winning situation. Both uh, Pepper and Mage, high damage, second stock. Mm -hmm. They have the chance to turn this around. They need to figure out something fast, though. Yeah, and that's still not a whole lot of damage up against Kaishin and Payday quite yet. I mean, that, yeah. that, I mean that big old Pokemon Kaishin. can take a lot more damage than that. Kaishin is racking it up fast, though. Yeah. Now in the red here, both of these moderately sized characters, you know, Chrome and uh, Oh, and shield Falco. break, but Falco's oh. going to save him easy. Yep, yep. That could that could have been a, a big one against him, but, you know, obviously that is. It worked out for Blue. They, yeah, they did yeah. manage to stock. Yep. I think Kaishin took too much damage. Now the like switch to get it over by Kaishin. One, okay. So this is literally the, this is literally the situation we were just talking about. Okay, that's not what they wanted to have happen, though. This might be the beginning of the end. This is a lot better for Payday than last match, but still probably a little insurmountable. Mm -hmm. Nice six. A lot easier to stare down two stocks than four, but. Yep, yeah, ain't that the truth. Pulls a three, not going to be enough. Nice little up on that one, and bye bye. Uh, he loses the yep. up air. Yep. Quick 2 -0 again. Yep. Oh, yep. for Pepper and Mage, yes. So we did not see any changes on there. You know, just Chrome Falco for red all the way through, Pokemon Trainer, and Mr. Game and Watchman. Um, right. And I think that's fine, you know. Yeah. My